Today I'm uh, cleaning up the yard, getting ready to mow it. And some, uh, pick up the grapefruit off of the, the tree. And uh, wind blowing and about ready to knock my hat off. Let me reposition my hat. to change hat <laughs> wind gusts automatically just picked right up at the time of this hit recording uh it's mild up to that point so as i'm picking up the yard walking the grapefruits over here to feed the cows you know cows like to get drunk too you know it dawned on me that not a not a lot of people have personally seen cows or been around cows. Sorry about that. This was being a pain and had to work it out. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, not too many people have been around cows or even seen cows in real life. And I find that a little foreign. I've been around cows my entire life. And, uh, you know, to me, it's just, just part of life. And they're right. And uh, you want a grape? A grapefruit? There. Have a grapefruit. Oops. Well, I suck, didn't I? Let's give you another one. Oops. And I think people want to do away with that. Come on, get your drunk on. Yeah. Say hi to all the people out there, YouTube. You little darling, you're gonna be a YouTube star. What do you think of that? There goes the, the hat. Okay, eat your fruit. I like cows. My uh, favorite animal are dogs, and my second favorite animal are cows. Really, really like cattle, not only in person, but also on my plate. Love me a good hamburger. Let me uh, pause the camera so I could wrap the chain around this. All right, went back and got another hat. Baseball cap this time. And the wind shouldn't blow it off. Cattle is great. I like cows. Do something a little different today. Like I said, I'm getting ready to mow the yard. And uh, today is projected to be uh, 111, so I have to push mow it because my riding lawnmower is being weird. Now, some of you who have subscribed to my channel for quite some time. 
know that I've dealt with vision issues for quite some time and I've been blind for or being near blind for about three years and in that time haven't really been able to do much like mow the yard and so my riding lawnmower here has sat the entire time got my vision fixed and uh, back in the saddle again and go to take back uh, mowing the yards come out here to uh, start the riding lawnmower and uh, just wasn't having it it would crank over and it fired and sputtered and peter out and so I went and got another battery, a new battery, and that, that kind of helped somewhat. I think I may also have a starter issue happening in this. But um, it does fire up, it does crank. And uh, however, it don't stay running for too long now. I've already tried this this morning. So I'm not sure how long this will stay running. But when it's cold and it's sat for a while, it'll run for about roughly two minutes. Uh, spewing out a little white smoke. And then it just acts like it runs out of gas, dies, and spews out tons of white smoke. And then uh, it'll crank back over, but it won't last very long. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I think I also have electrical connection issues on this. Right, somebody cue the fog. Cue the fog, please. And that's what it does. And if I try starting it again, it may start, but it won't last quite as long. That's it. That's all it does. It may, if I'm lucky, fire up one more time. But not sure. Let me just say this. I am not a mechanical, electrical kind of guy. I do not possess those talents. 
My dad, on the other hand, definitely possessed those talents. Any idea what uh, what that may be? Choke is all the way in, and I've tried pulling it out, and it really makes no difference. Um, I mean, it, it makes a difference. It does do what a choke is supposed to do. Uh, following the uh, linkage all the way in, the cable all the way in, I can't see exactly where it terminates. It's up, up underneath, and uh, I can't see see where what, what's happening so i don't know if mechanically it's actually engaging or disengaging uh at the carburetor section so if anybody knows got some uh, ideas let me know i put some uh, marvel mistro oil in there and all that good stuff and and before you ask no the thing sat that entire time with whatever gas was in there so but I've since put new gas in it, and uh, that's what it's running on now is new gas. Anyway, if you have an idea what uh, what I could check, let me know. Again, I am not mechanical. My dad was a was a truck driver. He drove cement for a living, and on the side he would rebuild cars and build houses, rebuild houses, stuff like that. And as children, of course, we we helped. Remember. One time uh, we were out on this job rebuilding this house that burnt and gosh, I don't know. I was probably eight years old, nine years old. Brothers were just a few years older than me. And we were on that site and we were supposed to help dad strip things. And well, we were doing that. And then we got bored with, with that. Where cows go? Uh, oh, they're over there in the shade. So we uh, got into the box and the five gallon canister of uh, mud for taping mud. And Dad just went down and bought all that. And uh, <laughs> we got into it and we had ourselves a a mud fight wasted it all oh my goodness dad was about ready to skin us alive and and hang our skin on a cross not too happy and then uh, on another job we'd up on the roof tearing off the roof again just young kids up on the roof running across rafters open rafters pulling off uh, the roof re-roof it and uh gosh we me and my brother ended up falling through it went through the sheetrock ceiling uh, again dad was not happy about that he had to of course repair all of that and we're just kids, you know, falling through a ceiling to the to the ground. It's like wow. But uh, yeah, happy memories, I guess. Living on a, a farm, we had chickens, and we'd raise the chickens to eat. And for for eggs. And. Uh, one time, me and my, my brothers again got into a little mischief. We went and robbed all the eggs from the chickens. Had ourselves a genuine egg fight. 
And then we ran out of eggs from the chickens. Went into the house, robbed all the eggs out of the house, and commenced on having ourselves a nice big egg fight. Needless to say, Ma was not happy about that. <laughs> Again, I'm about ready to skin us alive. Once we ran out of eggs, we got our BB guns. Needless to say, we had a, a BB gun fight. Ran out of BB guns and got toothpicks. <laughs> I don't recommend that. Brother shot me point blank in the leg with a BB. Oh man, that hurt. Lasted a long time too. A little indent. Anyway, Dad possessed all those skills. I did not. It uh, passed me right up. The only skill I possessed was, or still possess, is opening up my wallet. Pay somebody. It's hard for me to believe that or people out there that's willing to do away with cattle or any animals because they don't like cattle or any animal. If you don't like them, fine. You don't have to deal with them. But don't push your stupid idiot ideas on the rest of us who are quite fond of cattle or other animals. Anyway, let's get off that soapbox real quick. So back to the lawnmower. Again, any thoughts, any ideas? Put them down in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate that. The video is a little different from what I normally do, but Need to mix it up a little bit, I reckon. All right, well, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. And uh, let me just thank you in advance for whatever help you may offer. We will catch you in the next video. Take care. Oh, I just wanted to make a comment. Yeah, I know that a lot more looks like trash and and it is but you know here on the ranch you don't need nothing sparkly gleamy you just need something to work and I thought of buying a, another second hand used one and, and that's also an option but I've noticed the prices are also kind of crazy but we'll see I, I don't know which uh, which way is the best way to route